Lynn, or Lynn here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How are you guys doing today? So good to see you again. <laughs> well, here in Virginia, it is a gorgeous day. It is 78 degrees. This is uh, Wednesday for me. I'm not sure when I'll get this up because I have another video already in the can, so to speak, which is my <clears throat> Williamsburg haul. So that is what's going to go up next, and then I will put this one up. I have had a full week of videos this week, huh, you guys? <laughs> it's either feast or famine around here. <laughs> so I am currently on my way to Hobby Lobby. I usually like to go at least once a week to see what's what to see what's uh, on sale in their 66 uh, percent off aisle they also have sometimes they have a 90 percent off aisle not sure what they have this week because i haven't been in so i'm going to go over there and look and see and i know sweet daisy creations kim at sweet daisy creations hauled a sign yesterday that i just fell in love with it's black and it's a fall sign and that is one thing that I know I want to get because that would look just super cute in my house with all my black furniture and stuff. Uh-oh. Somebody almost pulled out in front of me here. Uh, so that is one thing that I'm definitely going for. But I thought I would do a little little car chat. Uh, I Yesterday, I while well, I'm on my way, I'm not going to talk for a long, long time because I do have, I actually am going to bring you two hauls whatever I get from Hobby Lobby here and also I I went to Kirkland's well, you can even see the back I didn't even take this stuff out of my car yesterday because I was in a hurry when I got home actually to be honest with you I had a headache when I got home and I went straight in the I went to get my nails done yesterday look 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 finally got my nails done aren't they pretty boy she really did me up pretty this time back to my pink and whites and my finger as you can see is all but healed. It's still a little bit, a mm, little crusty in places. This one healed up really well. You can see that right, right there is where it burned that one. But this one is much better. So I'm almost back to the point where I can do some crafting. Not sure what I'm going to craft because <laughs> I really don't have anything in the queue, so to speak, to craft. Uh, unless I find something here. I, I don't, Lord knows, I don't need any more wreaths. So I will definitely not be doing any more wreaths. I may not be doing anything else until I start to decorate for fall, to be honest with you guys. So, <clears throat> but when I got home yesterday from getting my nails done, I had a whopper of a headache. It wasn't a migraine. I think it might have been sinuses. Uh, <laughs> it's constant with this weather here in Virginia. Things just, it is cooler today though, I will say. The humidity is lifted today it is a much much prettier day and I'm feeling better although my voice is still toast because of <laughs> last weekend this car has a dog's head sticking up let me see if I can get up to it little doggy little golden retriever it looks like oh hello little dog this will head out the window <laughs> so cute so I went in the house last night and took some Advil and just relaxed for the rest of the night. I was, I was pretty pooped. So, <laughs> by the way, speaking of dogs, I know I told you guys last week that we had taken Gracie in for her yearly appointment. And we also took Sam in the same day to get his blood work checked again because his liver enzymes had been up when he was so sick and he was on that two rounds of antibiotic and we needed to get his blood work checked, to get his blood checked, again rechecked to make sure that those liver enzymes had come back down into uh, where they need to be and they have, yay! And Sam is back to his, his old self, although Sam isn't, move over here behind a big truck big Walmart truck here uh, Sam is never real excited about anything the only thing he ever really gets excited about is when he runs out the back door and sees a squirrel 
going across that like that middle fence line that separates the two yards <laughs> and he I'm uh, going and he says oh I can get that squirrel and he, he takes about three big leaps and then yeah and he stops and kind of saunters and went nah, I don't think I'm gonna try it <laughs> so cute so but he's back to himself he's feeling much better you can tell he's feeling much better and thankfully he's doing well and Miss Gracie got a clean bill of health her blood work came back great she is got a spring in her step for a 10 year old golden she's doing great not a problem in the world with that little messy so all is well so the next thing we need to do is to try to get Sophie back in for some blood work uh, because we need to get some blood work done on her now the vet did say she'd be willing to come to our house if necessary but we don't want to bother her with that so we're you know we did Chris did buy a ramp and uh, we did have a ramp for our Bernie's Mountain Dog but that thing was decrepit and we finally got rid of that so Chris bought a new ramp and you know they have made them better nowadays as happens sometimes with things <laughs> so he bought a new ramp so we ramped uh, we call ramp up that's what we say to our dogs when we want them to walk up the ramp ramp up so we ramped up Gracie she didn't want to go on it at first she was like what is this I don't need this I'm 10 and I still can get up in the van and, you know the van only sits about six or eight inches off of the ground or whatever maybe a foot whatever I mean they can certainly step up in it but it's just gotten to the point with all of their joints you guys that we just don't want to take the chance that they're gonna pull something which is what we think Sophie did I think we we think she did it actually in the house just getting up off of the hardwood you know <clears throat> but we did we did ramp Gracie up and then Sam looked at us like we had lost our minds what are you going to ask me to do and I will say that I'm, I'm the one that trains Sam I'm the one that you know can really get him to do something very gently you don't ever have to push Sam to do anything so I just simply got on his left side and just very gently held on to his collar the back of his collar and just kind of nudged him with my knee you know I was like beside the ramp and I kind of nudged him over and he kept wanting to go the other way I'm like no you come back here and it took me about three times to adjust him and then I just said, ramp up, Sam. Come on now, ramp up. And buddy, he walked right up that thing. I was like, woo -hoo! So we got two of them to ramp up and train them to do that very quickly. Now, Sophie, Miss Mind of Her Own, Miss Stubborn, Miss Little Crazy Girl who gets herself all, in, <laughs> all excited about going anywhere will be another story. I can't imagine that she is going to be that easy. Plus, she's big. She's bigger than Sam. Sam's 100, he got weighed the other day, 161 pounds. Uh, he's a little shorter. He's a little lower to the ground than, than uh, Sophie is. Sophie's very tall. She's 32 inches at the withers, the shoulder. So she's kind of tall and lanky, and Sam is a little bit shorter and stockier and bigger head and bigger. He's just got bigger everything when well, he's a male, you know. So, uh, but it should be interesting to see. And we don't want to hurt her trying to get her to use the ramp. See, that is going to be, it's going to be hard. So we're waiting probably another couple of weeks until we're sure that she's good and recovered from her little pulling of her muscle before we try to ramp her up to go get some blood work. She needs to have blood work done every six months just to make sure that make she, sure that her, just to make sure that her liver enzymes are still in uh, the right range and that her kidneys are not being damaged because she does take an anti-inflammatory every day not a very high dose but she, regardless she still does take it every day so we have to get the blood work they won't re-prescribe vet already gave us an extra month you know just because we told her that you know Sophie is was really hurt herself and she trusts us she's we've been she's been our vet for 20 some years now she's awesome so she was real sweet and gave us one one more month and so we will we will go and get her her blood work because we are not rule breakers we are just not we would never take advantage of anything like that plus of course we want to make sure that Sophie is good and healthy 
All right, you guys, I'm almost at Hobby Lobby, so I'm going to hush up now. And I've been yammering on for a while now, so I will hush. So I will catch you when I get home, and I will do that haul from Kirkland's and a uh, little haul, not a lot, from Kirkland's and then whatever I get here at Hobby Lobby. So I will catch y'all in a little bit. Hey everyone, I'm back home now and I'm fixing to do a little haul for you guys. One from Hobby Lobby, one from Kirkland's, and then one from Dress Barn. I, well, I ran into Dress Barn. Her Dress Barn sits right beside her Hobby Lobby. And I got a couple of things that were on sale. It was really cool. I got a really good deal. But first of all, I wanted to show you what I got. One of you lovely subscribers, and of course, of course, I can't remember which one, <laughs> gave me a link to Hot Glue Gun Helpers. Check it out. <laughs> so... Here's everything that's in it. Uh, it, it comes with a silicone pad that you unroll, and then it comes with all those spiffy little tools to help me so I don't burn myself moving forward. I was so appreciative when you sent me this link. Thank you so much, and I did order myself up one. Obviously, I haven't used it yet. I haven't even opened the package, and I'm not going to. I don't want to lose anything. I'm going to get me a little you know, a little uh, basket or something to keep all this in uh, so I don't lose any of it because this is going to be really important to me moving forward. As I said in the car, my finger is just about healed. It's looking much better and this one is completely healed. It's just, you know, a little bit pink uh, is all that's left, but boy, oh boy, what a burn, huh? So that was one thing I wanted to show you. I'm so happy with this. So, I'm going to go through my Hobby Lobby haul first because all of that stuff is littler, and then I will go through my Kirkland's haul. This is one thing from Kirkland's, and I'll show you that in a minute. So, let's start with Hobby Lobby. Uh, first thing, I didn't buy a lot at Hobby Lobby, but I, you know, I did pick up a few things that I thought I could probably use, and I've been eyeballing. I'll show you a couple things that I've been really eyeballing for a while. First thing I got were just a couple of candles. Everything is 40% off. All of their fall is 40% off, as you all probably know. But I got a couple of 10-inch uh, taper candles, and they have, like, leaves etched in. Or, actually, they bump up off of the... They're very nice and heavy. They're a good weight. And then you can see that the leaves are kind of almost... It's like they etched around the leaves. They're really nice. These are the kind I get for my sconches on either side of my window. Just They have these throughout the year, just with different things etched in to them, you know. So I picked up two of these to use either here in the kitchen. I know I have two, but I wanted two more. for. I have sconches like this in the kitchen that hold these kind of candles here in the kitchen that flank the windows and that two that flank the, win, uh, the mirror in the powder room. So I knew I needed two. So I picked up two candles. And then I did pick up a couple of more ribbons. Not, I, I'm, I'm, I've got a pretty good uh, supply of ribbon now, but I had that, and I didn't bring it in. Uh, I have that plaid ribbon, so I wanted something that would pair with that nicely. So I got this. This almost looks like leather. I know it's not, but it almost looks like a leather texture. But I got that, and I thought that would be pretty in a funky bow to pair with that plaid ribbon. And then I got a thinner, just a, kind of a linen, again, a linen look. But look at the stitching. It's dark, it's black, it's almost black. I think it's probably a very dark brown, but it almost looks black. And I like to pull the black out in my decor with, you know, I have the black furniture everywhere. And I really like to, just to pull on the black a little bit, you know, so I got that. Those two, and then remember I, I talked about that sign that Kim over there at Sweet Daisy Creations picked up? Well, here it is. <laughs> this is the sign. $6.99 for 40% off. Won't that just look spiffy in here? I don't know where I'll put it. I, I may end up putting it in a wreath. I don't think so, though. I've got all the wreaths that I need for fall. I'm, I'm not thinking I'm going to be making any more for this season. 
but I can set this up on a uh, on an easel, you know, or I don't know. I'll find some place to put it. Y'all know that. Maybe hang it on the ladder, you know, to go with the cozy corner. No, I'm doing the um, little red trucks for that cozy corner. I don't know. I'll find a place for it. That's for sure. I just thought that was so pretty with the black and pumpkins. And a couple more things. Uh, four of each of these next couple of things. Got me some picks. And they're all the same. I got four of the same. But I like the, the rich colors of fall. You know, the, the deep orange, almost a rusty orange. More than the real bright oranges and real bright yellows. I really like the more muted muted tones. Now, don't get me wrong, I have bright yellows and bright oranges too, but I, I also like to tone things down a little bit sometimes. So, four of those, and they were each $4.99, five dollars, so two fifty dollars each of those. And then, last but not least, I got four of these. Four all the same. And you guys can probably guess what I might be using these for <laughs> since I got four of them. You guessed it. Probably to anchor some corners somewhere. Maybe in this big lantern over here. I may just set them on a, on a shelf somewhere or, you know, I'm not sure. Not sure what I'll do with them, but... I know I already have some pumpkins that I used last year to anchor the corners of this big lantern. Maybe I could use move the pumpkins over to the center and then use these for the corners and fill in with the picks. Something like that, probably. Okay, so that was my Hobby Lobby haul. And I had the receipt here. I thought, I don't even, no, I don't. I don't have the receipt. It was like $40 for all of that. So... That was my Hobby Lobby haul, and let's skip on over to Kirkland's next, and then I'll show you what I got from Dress Barn. So, first thing I picked up from Kirkland's, Kirkland's has some great stuff for really good prices, you guys. I, you know, and and all of their stuff is is pretty well made and pretty heavy. So I got me first of all, I got some pumpkins, three different sizes, and they're glass, and. They were $9.99. Plus, if you guys are not aware of it, they have an app called Spin to Win. If you do a search for Spin to Win, you can take it in and you have to do it in front of the uh, cashier, but you push your Spin to Win button and it, like it, it, it's like a, well, it's not a wheel, but it spins around and then you hit it and stop it and you can get anywhere from 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, I don't know how far up it goes. I'm sure probably not much over that. Uh, percent off. Well, I did spend a win and I got 15% off of the whole, everything I bought yesterday. So the entire purchase. So let me show you these three. These are really nice. They have little poochy things on the bottom so that they don't scratch. They were made in China, of course, but they're nice. You know, they, they're not going to hurt anything if you sit them down on your, your wooden table or anything. But I've got three of them, three different colors. I think if I can hold them up here. Three different colors and three different sizes. So I really like these. So I will figure out somewhere to put them. I'm gonna go ahead and put them back in the box right now so that I can just set them out in my garage, which is where I'm setting things right now <laughs> before I go to decorate. I am having a bad hair day, you guys. I am so sorry. I've got a static cling in my hair, and it is just not one to hold its shape today. I have no idea what in the world happened. So excuse my lovely hair. <laughs> Driving me crazy. All right, let me show you this one thing first, and then I'll show you what's sitting here to my left. But, oh, I got me, it's a big plank, Happy fall, y'all. And you know what? This has like the hooks that you could hang this on the wall. I'm not gonna hang this on the wall. As a matter of fact, I was thinking, 
that this might actually be pretty in my front room or in my living room or in my, not my dining room, somewhere in my living room, maybe by that cozy corner or eh, maybe in the bay window or I don't know. I'm not sure where this will end up, but I, it was $34.99, $35. And I know some of you who do painting on wood and do this kind of thing are probably going, Arlen, really? But I don't do that kind of thing. So this is a good deal for me. And I really liked it. So happy fall, y'all. From Kirkland's. And then last but not least from Kirkland's, I got this. I mean, I have an extension cord here. <laughs> Hang on. Let me pull up, push it up closer to you guys. Isn't that pretty? And I will put this in with my country decor. I love to mix, like this This is almost more shabby chicy kind of, eh, maybe not. A little dressier, but I'll put this, I'm, I'm actually thinking of putting this on my hearth some way. Cause I thought that would be, or I may put it on a table, you know, one of the end tables out here. But I just thought that was so pretty. They have several lit glasses out there called this glass pumpkin hurricane that's what they call it and it was $25 $24.99 so I just love it so then again you guys will see where I put it when I decide to put it somewhere I have no idea what I'm gonna do with any of my fall decor yet so we'll just see what I come up with when I start to decorate huh all right so that's it Hobby Lobby and Kirkland's and last but not least, I just on a whim walked into Dress Barn to see what they might have. And I found, spent $20, you guys. Yep, that's it, $20. And I got me a really, I love this color pink. Got me a pink sweater. Y'all know I'm going to Alaska at some point. So this will be perfect. I love the crocheted top. So ten dollars, nine ninety nine for that. Can't beat it. Can't beat that. And then this was ten dollars. I'll actually try this on for you. Hang on. Of course not with this top, but you know. Very pretty. Pull out, well actually, I don't think I'd wear this sweater, but I could. Look at that. I think I would pull out, actually this shirt wouldn't be too horrible with it, with it would it? I'd want a long sleeve shirt though, probably. Anyway, I love this. I think it's so pretty. So, $9.99, you can't beat that, you know? Anyway, alrighty you guys, so that's it. That's my entire haul. Starting with my uh, protect my fingers uh, hot glue gun accessories, which I really love, and heading into Hobby Lobby, then to Kirkland's, and then to Dress Barn. I love it. So, so for now, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good care. Bye bye.